But let's move to one of our other big stories. Axis Bank's track record has always attracted financial investors. And now that the special undertaking of UTI, which is called SUTI, is offloading a sizable chunk of its holding in Axis Bank, our correspondent Arijit Barman finds out that one of the world's largest sovereign funds, Temasek, is getting seriously interested. It's a private bank growing consistently at over 40%. No wonder investors like Temasek, the investment arm of the Singapore government, are lining up for a big piece of Suti's 27% stake in Axis Bank, of which 21% is being offered for sale by the special undertaking of UTI. NDTV learned that Temasek is eyeing 10% in the bank and is willing to pay up to 850 rupees per share, which is a premium of around 20% over the current market price of 711 rupees per share. At that price, Temasek will have to pay $675 million, valuing Axis Bank at a cool $6.75 billion. And uh, there is a kind of scarcity premium which you can see visible in a case like Axis. Uh, there aren't that many new generation banks which have technology, which have the spread, and which do not have the baggage of excess manpower or untrained manpower. Uh, where you know you could actually look at uh, uh, PE invested putting in money in any significant size and hoping that it at some stage it will become attractive uh, and any candidate uh, by itself. Temasek did not want to comment and Suti officials told NDTV that they are in no hurry and will wait for a good price. And Suti's administrator told NDTV that he cannot comment on specific fund interests in the transaction. But the RBI has a 5% cap for foreign banks picking up stake which has worked against HSBC in the past, who had to bring down their stake in Axis's earlier avatar, UTI Bank. But RBI officials categorized Tamasek as a foreign fund, so they were allowed to pick up a 10% stake in ICICI Bank in 2003. This precedent, say bankers, will help Tamasek this time as well, even though RBI had barred other private equity funds from hiking their stake in Indian banking entities. So we have 5% for foreign banks, 10% for corporate entities, 49% for FIIs and 10% for NRIs. Okay. Uh, but if you were to just take Temasek as a, uh, it's not a bank or a banking group in that sense. And therefore, its ability to hold uh, investments in Indian private banks ought to then fall within the general corporate limit that exists, which is that it should not exceed 10%. Historically, Axis Bank has seen a lot of interest from financial investors, like Citigroup's private equity fund, CVCI, or Chris Capital. Even today, financial investors want to be an active part of the growth story of Axis Bank. So other than Tamasek, now names of Warbuck Pinkus, even the Ambani brothers are doing the rounds as a Suti stake sale intensifies. But interestingly, one needs to watch out whether the Tamasek price would set the benchmark in this transaction. In Mumbai, Arijit Barman for NDTV.